think I like facing discomfort. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I what I would, and in a way you could call it suffering, like to lay down with a fever, you know, to like, and like face discomfort. Can that be fun? Am I missing something? Yeah, it, that sounds fun to me. Uh, uh, it's kind of like that's how I've lived my life, you know, like, if, the, if a big storm comes, you don't see these wa rocks running anywhere. They're, they're going to face whatever blows through here. And they've always done that because they're very stationary, very strong, and a great symbol of strength and stationary. So, like, if I'm dealing with thoughts and concepts of people and relationships or whatever, and I've, I've got this, this craziness going on in my mind, I would much rather stay there and face it than to run from it. I think my synonym for this whole entire cosmos is distractionville. You know, everyone who, every, we'll say a soul comes to, to time and space and they've landed in distractionville. Now you've actually hit a part of distractionville called hippieville, which is, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a good place to face things because it's, because the vibe around here is face it and, and let it see the nothingness of it. By, by facing it. So it's, there's not any kind of sadistic or, you know, narcissistic kind of thing that's involved in this facing it. It's actually, you know, letting the darkness come up. And that's really what this whole vibe of this is. It's not, we're not saying have fun to distract away from discomfort. We're saying that if you don't distract away from discomfort, it will dissolve and disappear. And you can sit there in the fever. I mean, if you came here with a fever, I would find a, a nice spot, maybe a hammock or a blanket or whatever, and, and have a good lie down there and sweat and, you know, make your own little sweat lodge, you know, and everything. And then, it's so great when you come out of it, when you come out of the fever or the sweating and this and that, there's a sense of freedom, there's a sense of relief. And you actually feel good that you faced it, you didn't run from it. You didn't run to medications, you didn't run to drugs, you didn't run to even distractions of, of entertainment or stimulation and all the things that this world offers. Distraction though offers a lot of distractions. You know, it's like uh, when I go, when I stop in all these airports, I just love it when I go down to uh, Las Vegas because it's like, <laughs> even in the airport, you know, it's like, there's casinos, and, you know, there's slot machines, and everything's light and flashing and everything. And I have fun with it now, but, but before, when, I, when my mind wasn't trained, it would have been like just a temptation, an allure to try something, but it's not there anymore. But I think that's, it sounds like fun to me. That's my kind of fun, actually. <laughs> I, I love facing down the darkness. The light versus the darkness, tonight. <laughs> all the In the hammock. <laughs> it's the hammock. It's the unstoppable light in the right corner, and in the left corner, the devastating <laughs> darkness. Here they come. They're in the ring together. Oh, it's over. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, the darkness was down, and he didn't even see it coming. It was unbelievable. One second, the match is over. You know, because, why? Because you... You have the light, you know the light is there, it's who you are, and you can face anything, any darkness that would come up. So I'm a big fan of, of, of facing things. I think, I call it allowance. You would just allow the fever to arise, and you allow the discomfort to arise. And I'd say I spent, I really spent the majority of my life doing that allowing, allowing the darkness to come up. Ali, Ali, and come free. Anything that's down there, come on. <laughs> Whatever's there, I'm not afraid of you. Come on, I can see you. Come on, you just invite, invite, invite. The light is so strong, it can handle anything. The boogeyman, come on, boogeyman. I, come on, we can, you know, there's nothing. Freddy Krueger, nothing, you know. I got to the point in my mind training where the spirit was taking me to like Nightmare on Elm Street and Psycho and Silence of the Lambs and everything, and I could actually laugh at these movies, you know. I would be like just laughing at the special effects and everything. I really, I, I was actually not really, couldn't really get into them. 
at some point because I had let the darkness in my mind come to the light and therefore you, you can just laugh at, at, at anything. I always tell the story, the parable of my friend Lisa, who you'll meet, she'll be our MC tonight. I told this parable pretty recently, but she was like, she was, she had a, a, a business in Mount Joy. She literally had a business in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. Abundant nursing. And at one point she was, um, she was sitting in her car and she heard this explosion and she thought it was like a bomb went off or something and she, she started looking up at the buildings and seeing, and then it was boom, another explosion, and then boom, and then boom, boom, boom. It was like a series of explosions and she's looking out her, like she's, it's almost like something's hit something or there's some kind of explosions going in the buildings or whatever. And she's in such a joyful state though, she's just so happy with all, hearing all these explosion sounds. And she gets out of her car and she's the front car of a pile-up collision. Those weren't explosions, those were cars hitting her car and then the car behind hitting and then the truck behind hitting. It's like seven cars piled up and she's popping out. She's in joy, she's in the miracle. And she, she goes out and she she goes out and the people start getting out of their cars that are all in this pile-up collision. And the first woman comes up to her and the first words that come out of Lisa's mouth, I kid you not, these are the first words that come out of Lisa's mouth is, it's a miracle! <laughs> she's just, she's come out of the first car of like a seven-car pile-up and the first words out of her mouth, this is a miracle! And then what follows out is she's, and the woman's like, and then she says, it's all our thought, man. It's all our thought. Everything's our thought. It's our thought. I'm telling you, it's all our thought. And the woman goes, you're right. Come to think of it, I just left my house and I was asking my husband if I could use our new car. And he said, no, you take the clunker. And I was just driving down this road thinking, I hate this car. I wish I didn't have this car. I wish I, I could not have this car. And she's like, you're right. She joins Lisa in It's a Miracle. She's like, you are absolutely right. Those, are, those were my thoughts, exactly my thoughts. I was thinking, I don't, I, I don't like this car. I don't want to be in this car. And believe me, that car was gone. Because <laughs> it smashed into Lisa's and it was crunched from behind. I mean, it was squished up. And then all the other people got out of their cars and they got swept up, just like in Grandpa's house. They got swept up in the the vibe of the miracle. It didn't even matter if there was crunched cars and metal and glass. It was like, that was ah, just peripheral stuff. They were into the joy. And then the police officer showed up and you got seven people laughing. And the cop shows up and cannot help but smile, like, what's going on here? As he sees these crunched cars and these seven happy people. It is all thought. There is nothing in this world that causes you to be upset. It's all a reflection of thought. And if you can start to really feel the strength of that idea, then you can see that if you would give your life over to the true authentic fun, to the true authentic happiness, there's nothing in this world that could stop you from being happy. Nothing. Nothing would have a chance. And I mean, my whole life has just been a lot of parables about me seeing that in action over and over and over, that nothing is really capable of taking your fun away from you. Nothing. <laughs>